Welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at Celebrity Radio Dobbers, where last year we had over 10.5 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we're on Broadway for Frozen, a brand new musical by Disney. There's no question that Frozen by Disney is the biggest Broadway opening since Hamilton in 2015. Unsurprisingly, Disney were happy to spend around $30 million on this new show, an extraordinary amount, but a drop in the ocean of the $1.2 billion the film generated worldwide. Rarely does a show come along where people will willingly pay any amount of money to attend. You can find out more by going to the website of Frozen on Broadway. So let's talk about the show then. Well, in review, I guess Frozen is a musical smash hit before it's even opened. This review is irrelevant. It's almost sold out. It looks stunning, sounds magnificent, and once again makes theatre exciting for a whole new generation. How can it lose? It's five years since Frozen became an iconic musical animation hit, with that song being rendered at every karaoke and party ever since. Disney had a franchise they couldn't let go. The Great White Way was inevitable. Casey Levy's version of that Goliath tune, Let It Go, wowed the crowd tonight with one of the loudest ovations I've heard in 20 years of reviewing theatre. The mid-song quick change costume illusion was enchanting for the kids and even more impressive to the potentially cynical dads. This Broadway musical adaptation looks new, modern, exciting and fresh with a story loosely based on Hans Christian Andersen's The Snow Queen. The appeal of this immersive set, show and story is staggering. From 20 to 90, the St. James Theatre this evening was sold out with a captivated crowd. Frozen is brought to you by British director Michael Grandage. This new stage adaptation offers 12 new songs to the film, adding over an hour of new material to the original animation, allowing for extra dimensions, depth and heart to each character. The show has several killer moments. Most spectacular of all is Monster. This is the epitome of a showstopper and is destined to become another Disney global hit. There's an element of British panto in Frozen, big laughs from the kids and winks and nods from the dads who may well read into the innuendo on another level. The biggest warmth award goes to the much-loved carrot face character Olaf, played by Greg Hildreth, who does a magnificent job bringing the spirit and joy of this character to life. If you like Pumber and Timon in The Lion King, you'll love this similar effect. There was never a fear that Frozen could or would fail. It's been too long in the making with too many theatrical geniuses involved. It ain't Shakespeare and it's not trying to be. It's joyous escapism done on a scale that will blow your mind with its immersive, cinematic and theatrical beauty. You've been listening to another review by Celebrity Radio, recorded in February 2018. Frozen continues on Broadway at the same James Theatre. You can listen to all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!